ese efata oman ba bia ese se de enyema ekoso ewo oman mu no yetimi ehun na afi wonu mu soso awodan aban edwuma hodro nyina no no otimi bu nkuntapa edema ye ma ye soso ye nya ye ho entese ye enam so ema kodafo efre eye in central for in shemu e wo ministries e information ministries e na me chire yi na koda wo be bisa se koda e ye adwuma ben ana se wo nwuma die kra e ne se koda e ye coastal development authority a peni a wo da no ye si o e ye honorable jerry ahmed shaib se me ka jerry ahmed shaib ana me chire e ye eh openi a wono ejina as a parliamentary candidates eh the ma ablekuma south 2016 mu na wone afred okuvanda for edc ni a eh nyame anya adom a efi ni sakodi afred ensa e na make no hwasem no 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 oyɛ mama rebecca ba prekopɛ a ye ka se npp dia wono so edi mutintima pa na ne dwuma penti ana npp aban meche na na adu dan kwa ekufu adu ne ne mpenifo wadi koda ahye ne nsa se wonhwe na wonda dan eniamma ewo san kwan ne so emfa mboa eye oman pumpuni gana na wo chemu a wonu mu dwumadi a wodi no ebi efa eye education health water for all sanitation for all and a social development be to say eh roads and bridges any dey keke keke ho e na wono mo e ni titu e ni yekosta areas na wode enhemu no e hehe so no wo kire ni nsemu be bia wono so so abo wo ho moden aba bedu yenko enkotie se dia o kire ni nsemu isify as part of achieving the principle of sustainable development and bringing development closer to the doorstep of our people his excellency the president nana do danko akufuado on 2nd January 2018, signed into law the Act establishing the Coastal Development Authority. <coughs> the Coastal Development Authority Act 2017, Act 961, defines the Coastal Development Zone to include the Greater Accra Region, the Central Region, the Western Region, and the Volta Region. However, the creation of new regions in 2019 with Western North and OT from then the western region and volta region respectively the operational jurisdiction is now made up of six regions that is western region western north region central region greater Accra region volta region and ot region this covers 109 constituencies as at the end of 2021 in ghana so we show you the map of the uh, the coastal development zone if we if we have it well the objects of the authority are to accelerate economic and social development in the coastal development zone through strategic direction in the planning and prioritization of the development projects b to mobilize public resources including financial resources and private and public investment for the accelerated economic and social development of the coastal development zone. C is to coordinate development activities in the coastal development zone with the aim of ensuring that public resources are effectively utilized and private sector investments achieve maximum development impacts to reduce poverty and deprivation in every part of the zone. And to formulate and implement initiatives towards achieving gender equality and empowerment of vulnerable groups in the coastal development zone. Koda started its operations in 2018, sometime April 2018, with a small number of staff from various agencies. However, in September 2019, it received commencement ones from the Ministry of Finance to initiate project implementation. Prior to that, the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives had been the custodian of the budget and implementer of the government's IPEP policy. The IPEP policy is the infrastructure for poverty eradication program. It is the vehicle through which our initi initiatives are run. The government's agenda for jobs, creating prosperity and equal opportunity for all, for all in 2017 to 2024 stipulates that 
in order to ensure that IPEP and other local initiatives are implemented in a well-coordinated manner, government will set up the Coastal Development Authority as the main socio-economic development vehicle for the zone. Our intervention... Infrastructure projects are one of the areas that are not being used in the UN. One hundred and twenty-nine, and one of the areas that are not being used in the UN. If you want to know more, you can find more information. And as you will be able to get the information from the Amo Masha Suye, the Abwa Omae Ghana. And now, actually, no, and you may not be so hard to go so air down that one side. I will go and be a do a year and pen pen so I will be able to get the information from the UN. And the UN is not going to be able to get the information from the UN. Now, the UN is going to be able to get the information from the UN. COVID, the UN is going to be able to get the information from the UN. What do you want to say? Okay. Our interventions as a development authority have been in the following areas or in the main areas as follows. One, education. Two, health. Three, water for all. Four, sanitation for all. Five, sports development. Six, economic infrastructure. Seven, roads and bridges. A total of about 100 1,473 project, project contracts have been awarded for execution across the six regions of the Development Authority. The regional breakdown is as follows. In Western North Region, we have 125 projects. In Greater Accra, we have 380 projects. In Western Region, we have 220 projects. In the Volta Region, we have 229 projects. In OT, we have 107 projects, and in the central region, we have 412 projects, as uh, depicted on the pie chart. The total number of projects in the greater Accra region, like I indicated, are 380, and the breakdown is also as follows. We have them in the form of roads, in, in the form of bridges, in the form of economic interventions, in the form of water systems, in the form of health systems, in the form of drains, in the form of recreational facilities or centers, sanitation, education, and others. The total number of projects in the central areas are also indicated, which is 412, are also in the form of bridges, economic interventions, roads, water systems, health, facilities, drains, recreational facilities, educational facilities, sanitation, and others. When you come to the Volta region, we have 229, same as we have indicated earlier. So you can find them in the, in the form of roads, bridges, economic interventions, sanitation, education, drains, recreational, and health facilities. When you go to OT region, you would see at least 107 projects in that region. And that constitutes, or that includes um, roads, bridges, drains, health facilities, sanitation, education, recreational facilities, water system, and others. In the Western region, you have about 220 of these projects. And they are in the form of bridges, economic interventions, roads, water systems, recreational facilities, education, and others. This, when you also come to Western North, we have about 125, and these are in the same format. So they are either in the form of bridges, drains, health facilities, education, sanitation, water systems, and others. As we speak, we have concluded at least a total of 129 during the before the compilation of uh, these notes. 129 of these projects across the zone, which is the six regions and 109 constituencies, and they have been completed, and the remaining are at various stages of completion. 
various stages means that some are about 95%, some are about 30%, some are about 20%, some are about 60%, some are about 99%. In fact, some are also almost done, or virtually done. We, all we are waiting for is to do the proper commissioning and handing over. Naturally, so <laughs> And can you find our bow and home one day and see Yana? You can get here in Chichimuni and we are or they am I. Coastal Development Authority also sought to go through some strategic arrangements through by taking delivery of some uh, vehicles we, which we call the budget cute pro poor vehicles and we distributed the same to Okara riders who were our main focus and some commercial drivers. The intervention was based on a high purchase agreement and beneficiaries will tell you that it is a good deal. That was at 25,000 cities and payment was made, a deposit of uh, 5,000 was made. And as we speak, you, if you are owning that vehicle, you pay only 841 Ghana cities a month for two years. That vehicle becomes your vehicle. The, the authority also procured and distributed about 3,000 subsidized outboard motors to fisher folk, which included inland fishers. Now, outboard motors now sell at around 25,000 Ghana cities. We had the directive of His Excellency to ensure that the fishers are taken care of in a manner that would help alleviate poverty within their sector. An outboard motor that sells at 25,000 cities was given to the fishers at 10,000 Ghana cities. The ones that sold at 14,500, which is the 15 horsepower, was given to the fishers at 5,000 Ghana cities. We still have some in stock and we are still getting them sold. The rationale for the procurement and distribution of these outboard motors at this subsidized price is to alleviate the plight of the fishers and empower them to do better in their trade. The impact has been an improvement in income and livelihoods. The Coastal Development Authority also formed or established the Coda Credit Union. This union is a non-profit financial institution managed by its members. What it means is that you have to be a shareholder to be a member. And the shareholding bid is to pay 100 Ghana cities. And that is how you contribute. It's a member known is a member owned financial cooperative. The focus is on traders, fishers, commercial drivers, food vendors, hawkers, and small scale farmers. We can tell you that the last, the very recent batch of the union members that took some money were very excited in taking same, especially during when it was close to the festivities. So if you give somebody 2,000 cities to go and engage in some business, which he told to the person would not have even had 500 Ghana cities. So all, all the person needed was 500 Ghana cities. That was a leap in the person's life. And that was what Coastal Development Authority did. The Coda Health Train is also an initiative that Coastal Development Authority took upon itself. The Health Train involves the provision of free health screening, medication, and surgeries for fibroid especially for the women. I don't think the men have fibroid, but fibroid for the women. And hernia, which is purposely for the men, and other minor surgeries. So far, in collaboration with the National Health Insurance Authority, we were able to register people on the free, uh, free NHIS, and have been, we've been able to provide over 100,000 vulnerable people with their NHIS cards. 
That is a leap. Similarly, during COVID, what we did was also to get to the very vulnerable people. We produced some face masks and hand sanitizers. Some of the sanitizers, we still have some. And we still have some of the face masks. And we were able to do that, about 204,000 of the nose masks and 15,000 of the hand sanitizers. And we provided the same to the general public to help combat the outbreak of the COVID-19 pan pandemic in 2020. Coastal Development Authority also saw the need to partner with small-scale farmers. And so we went there to support them in various forms. The authority provided them with cutlasses, Wellington boots, spraying guns, and what have you. Within the zone, with the aim of empowering these peasant farmers with the basic but essential implements required to do their work. And you can see the breakdown of some of the things we, we got for the peasant farmers. And that is what we call the Coda Agri Support. There is an intervention that we are very passionate about, which is the Clean Beach Campaign. This intervention seeks to mobilize coastal communities to be involved in environmental cleanliness and provide basic infrastructure and facilities to maintain clean beaches within with linkages for value addition in partnership with the Coastal Conservancy Organization, a local NGO, and the Center for Coastal Management in the University of Cape Coast. We are currently running a pilot, and if you go to the Kole Lagoon as we speak, we have installed the, the Kole Lagoon, the, we have installed the decimal liter trapping at the Kole Lagoon, and the essence basically is to trap and contain floating plastic being carried into the ocean or the sea. I'm sure when you see the pictures, you would marvel. So these pictures, this was just when we, we got uh, the trapping, the litter trapping installed. So this is the third day, so second and third day. And you can imagine the kind of plastic that we were able to contain or accommodate within the pier. That tells you the need or the urgency to clean our beaches of filth and squalor. The specific objectives of the Coda Clean Beach campaign include to support beach communities to improve env environmental and ecological conditions along beachfronts by a, providing advocacy and media support for the Coda Clean Beach campaign. I'm happy to have all the media people here. Without you, there's no way we can succeed on this project. Uh, I've, I've had people giving me calls about how sure are you going to run this. First of all, we need the education, and the education comes from the media people. We can get to ensure that the beaches are very clean, rid of filth and squalor when the media takes up this project together with Koda and all other partners. I mean, anybody who may have had the opportunity of going to, say, um, Bahamas or, or, or wherever you can call a clean beach area, the only thing that is different from our beach is the cleanliness. So if we can do that in Bahamas, we are sure we can do that in Ghana. And that is the passion for Koda. So we intend to build capacity of local community-based partners to regularly clean this, their beaches, build capacity of these local community-based partners to process waste plastic materials into usable raw materials for recycling purposes. And we are doing this in partnership with the Kantaka Group as we speak. They've They've um, worked on something they call the shredders that will shred all the plastics. And we are hopeful that if we are able to get them to agree on some terms, we should be able to have shredders all over the place so that all these plastics that will be picked can be shredded into reusable materials. We are also to provide infrastructure for reducing the amount of plastic waste materials deposited on the beaches from municipal waste discharge system. We are doing this with MMDCs and all stakeholders. All MMDCs within the zone are being engaged. The Krakremo no Honorable Lawyer Jerry Ahmed Shaibu, Essanso Echelen Semu Tuasu Se, Washa, Wonju Medie Nankasano Dudwana Ewa Costa Aries, Na Enunti, Wobo Wohu Mwadeng, Ese, Wobeshe Se, Yinsu, So Anu, Eye Beaches Ninyinano, Ebeye Clean, 
na yen so so yetimi ejina ye nan so se aman hudu wo so fo empo eh wonya otwotwo mucho bi kura motimi akotana ho etimi ajiji mani ana se sa adwin bi na pese wo fa wo ko be bia hwadwo kama na hwa ye din a wo so so wetimi akotana ho na fe se dia ebi no mo etimi jija won anan egu eyenso ano ana bitches nano no ni nyina etimi etwa na afi nso so odi nkran shekura kese e ma wo manfo ese e wo muse covid e betwintwa won anan mu de enso so no se ye de adwuma hye won sa na wo ye adwuma pa bibiye ni kwa e betimi atwe won asan e bere wo munia ma se de enso so eno nkyere se won nyume de emra na biye ye nti wonu etimi abomoden jina won nan so asom gana osmo pa ense mi ena wode ebe tu dwa se ye hwe na ensentwe fo ye nso ye mane to wo manfo na ye hu wo modem bo ene osompa wo som ede aboa oman gana meka wo ese segment yi eye zoom lion ena eso yasene ema ye de bremu na zoom lion se menkan cho ese eh one house one does been it be modem be bia wa so ye wo bia bora ho na wo so je wo does been na ahundie hu sem enkoye e wo wo fie ene wo mpotem jekora ese recycling recycling hunsem ehu hia wo nye nwura nje ngu ba bia keke yetimi de biye bibi fufuro e ma no eye ye gana association of registered midwives omo so so eso yasene won wo hwe e ma ye ma menom ne nua ma nom so wo efa won hu asumdwe mu ene afen so chibet group of companies o simen kan chero eh wo nwuma ne de edoso na ye dimu tintima ya bere bia mekanfo e de ma wo na me hu ne se betimi abo awpa e ye wo nua ne awapo ne hu aye ne soronko kwan so nya bi na ebusia ni ni na mo fra ne titu wo nyi e wo fom fom ye mu gama e ye ku a e xe aban ase eh ministry be bia ma me ama eh abena da pa e wo e na wo hwe e ma gama edumedi etimi konka o se aban aso asene efie efie eduma ye bia be bibie nipa di atwentie na eh ejanan bia eni no bo modin fre wo no mo aban etue bi no etue kuma bia so so won be ye ma o kama kama sa na won so so wo hu ento e ha ene bebe ma kwama mi dumedi ni na aban e me da se e ma o mu ene hwe ma me ampe me da kwa Akrao.